Hello everyone. We decided that we wanted to bring some scripture reading, some praying, and some worship into your home. And I hope that you just take time out to allow the Lord to speak to your heart, to speak to your mind, to speak to your spirit. This was kind of impromptu, and so I do ask that you uh, bear with us, but I ask that you also listen for the voice of God in your heart and in your soul. The first scripture, which is so familiar to us, I want to read is Psalm 91. The Bible says, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowl and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that walks in the darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, and 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord who is my refuge, even the most high your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over you, to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent. You shall trample underfoot, because he has set his love upon me. Therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Oh 
cherubim. Let the earth be moved. The Lord is great in Zion, and he is high above all the peoples. Let them praise your great and awesome name. He is holy. The king's strength also loves justice. You have established equity. You have ex executed justice and righteousness in Jacob. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his footstool. He is holy. Moses and Aaron were among his priests and Samuel was among those who called upon his name. They called upon the Lord and he answered them. He spoke to them in the cloudy pillar. They kept his testimonies and the ordinances he gave them. You answered them, O Lord our God. You were to them God who forgives. Though you took vengeance on their deeds, exalt the Lord our God and worship at his holy hill. For the Lord, our God, is holy. It's your 
Solomon by night and said to him, I have heard your prayer and have chosen this place for myself as a house of sacrifice. When I shut up heaven and there is no rain or command the locusts to devour the land or send pestilence among my people, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land.
Psalm 119 says, Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his testimonies, who seek him with the whole heart. They also do no iniquity. They walk in his ways. You have commanded us to keep your precepts diligently. Oh, that my ways were directed to keep your statutes. Then I would not be ashamed when I look into all your commandments. I will praise you with uprightness of heart. When I learn your righteous judgments, I will keep your statutes. Oh, do not forsake me utterly. How can a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed according to your word. With my whole heart, I have sought you. Oh, let me not wander from your commandments. Your word I have hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. Blessed are you, O oh Lord. Teach me your statutes. With my lips I have declared all the judgments of your mouth. I have rejoiced in the way of your testimonies as much as in all riches. I will meditate on your precepts and contemplate your ways. I will delight myself in your statutes. I will not forget your word. Deal bountifully with your servant that I may live and keep your word. Open my eyes that I may see wondrous things from your law. I am a stranger in the earth. Do not hide your commandments from me. My soul breaks with longing for your judgments at all times. You rebuke the proud, the cursed, you who stray from your commandments. Remove from me reproach and contempt, for I have kept your testimonies. Princes also sit and speak against me. But your servant meditates on your statutes. Your testimonies also are my delight and my counselors. My soul clings to the dust. Revive me according to your word. Still and no 
you carry whatever's in your heart I challenge you to give those burdens to the Lord prayer is the power that turns the world there are some things that God I believe will absolutely not do until we pray until we ask until we knock. God wants us to bring our burdens and our cares to him. Not just during times of crisis, such as now, but God wants a real relationship with you. When you pray to him in the morning, you pray to him in the noon pray to him at night that speaks to relationship real relationship let's turn our hearts now to the Father and pray God we thank you we praise your name because we know that you are indeed the Alpha and the Omega you are the beginning and the end, the first and the last. You was, is, and is to come. There is no God like you in all of the world. God, you are the God of Abraham and of Isaac and of Jacob. You are omniscient. You know everything. You are omnipresent. You are everywhere at the same time. You are almighty. Whatever we need you to be, oh God, you are that. For well, you spoke to Moses and told Moses on the mountain, I am that I am. Father, today we ask you that you would cleanse us, wash us, purge us, purify us. Almighty one of our sins, 
God, if there be anything in our hearts that has offended you, we pray that you would cleanse it from us. Though our sins be like scarlet, Lord, we know that you can make us whiter than snow. Father, we lift our hearts to you today. And God, we want to spend just a moment in your presence and we ask you now to lay your hands upon the world as the world is in panic. As so many hearts right now are in times where they don't know what to do. They don't know who to turn to. Father, lay your hands upon the people of the world. Let them feel your comfort in this hour. Let them feel your power in this hour. Let them feel your strength in this hour. You promise to be a refuge and a fortress in a strong tower in time of trouble. You said when the righteous cry, you shall hear and deliver us out of all of our trouble. Lord, we know that you are God that keeps your promises. And so Father, on behalf of the world, we pray today in the name of Jesus that you would touch, first of all, those who are in authority, God, those who are trying to lead us in this crisis, we pray that you would give them wisdom, understanding, knowledge. Give them answers. God, those who are politicians, God, those who are scientists, those who are doctors, we pray, dearest God, that you would touch their minds and protect them. Now, God, those who need a healing, God, those in New York City, God, those around the nation and the nations of the world. God, who are in need of a healing from the coronavirus. God, you are Jehovah Rapha, the God that heals all manner of sicknesses and disease. We ask that you would allow your healing virtue now to visit hospitals around the world. God, touch and heal according to your mercies according to your mercies according to your mercies heal by your power heal by your power Lord in the name of Jesus we know that you are fully able but God we stand in the vein of the three Hebrew boys that spoke to the king and they say, O oh, King, if our God does not deliver us, we know that he's able. So, Father, if you choose not to heal certain individuals, we still in faith say we know that you are able. And our faith is still in you. And we still worship you. And we still love you. And we still magnify you. Let families across the world feel hope. Let them feel a brand new strength. Brand new restoration. You said, God, that the times of refreshing come from the presence of the Lord. And so, God, we ask that you breathe your peace upon your people. Let this be a time of refreshing. A time of revival. A brand new strength, we pray, come up on your people. Let them feel that. Let them know it. In the name of Jesus, we thank you because we know today that you are God. Alpha and Omega, beginning and end. King of kings, Lord of lords. We thank you now, for there is no power higher than your power. And once again, our dependency and our trust is completely in you and upon you. We rest in you, knowing that everything is going to be all right. And we thank you now, O oh, Holy One of Israel, in Jesus' name. Amen.